The healthcare challenges confronting humanity are more complex than ever before. Success will require new ways of thinking about health and wellness, as well as developing and employing leading edge technology in research, clinical care, and education. At the University of Arizona Health Sciences, we are training the next generation of healthcare professionals to take on these challenges and to build and lead the future of healthcare. To me, next generation education is about getting people out of their chairs and doing things and actively engaging in the learning process themselves. You know, you can only read and listen to and watch things so much until you actually have to go out and do it. Most of the time the students are with me, they are the ones who are active, engaging, speaking to one another, working independently, sharing, exploring and learning and coming to an understanding. Simulation in healthcare, which is using simulation technology to practice healthcare procedures and scenarios, is what we utilize to bridge the gap between the classroom and the real thing. And what that encompasses is hands-on experiences that can be done over and over again. Simulation, um, especially for me, has been extremely influential because you're here to learn, right? So you can make your mistakes here, you can mess up over and over again, you can get feedback from your instructors and improve on your skills. And it's those hands-on skills that you need to bring into the clinic. And so it, it completely takes the information that you're learning and applies it in a, a new way so that you can be better prepared uh, in the clinical setting. It's our job to work with faculty and facilitators to determine what type of technology would provide the most realistic replication of the clinical environment for the students while they're in a simulated environment. They can be, be given any kind of scenario pretty much that you can think of, from a heart attack to a compromised airway, gunshot wound, we can use it as a supplement to better prepare students before they go out onto the floor and have to do all the things they're expected to do on the rotations that they go on. The heart of design thinking is understanding the person whose need you're trying to meet. We're not trying to go out and solve problems that no one needs solved. For example, if there's an assignment that requires multiple perspectives, one of us will take the patient's perspective, the other one will take the physician's perspective. You know, how does this treatment, for example, integrate and how does it appear to both of these different groups? It's a very different model than we have used historically in education. For me, next generation education is really about using the evidence that we've started to gather in the last few years about how people learn and the best way to help facilitate that process as educators.